From this view, the truth is undeniable. Vancouver Island is losing its soul. What if your paradise became a wasteland? That's the story unfolding here. Look at this mountain. Its forest crown is gone, stripped away by industrial logging. The surrounding hills, clear-cut by a private company, have suffered the same fate. The consequences? Devastation to streams, rivers, and aquatic life downstream. But a new vision could save it. The Sable River flows into the Strait of Georgia. But look closer at the land surrounding it. The bare patches of land are clear cuts which span thousands of hectares. In the 1930s and 40s, 90% of the primary forest was logged. And from the 1990s to the present, 70% of second growth was logged. Here's the devastation up close. This mountaintop has no forest left to manage the water. Snow melts rapidly under the sun, unchecked by shade. When it rains, the trees are no longer there to slow the rainfall, absorb it, or protect the soil. The damage is systemic. Without roots to stabilize the soil, erosion increases. Without organic matter like leaf litter, water absorption plummets. Machinery compacts the soil, turning it into fine particles that flow into waterways, carrying sediment downstream. Look at this picture of the river in November showing high turbidity which means there's a lot of sediment in the water, which is damaging and sometimes fatal to aquatic life. Logging roads only make it worse, carving pathways for sediment to flow directly into streams and rivers. This is Dave Weaver. With 37 years in forestry, Dave resigned from being a registered professional forester in 2016 to free his voice. His findings are alarming. Look at the roads. So there's a ton of roads. When you get a ton of roads, you get a ton of logging. When you get a ton of logging, you get a lot of impact on hydrological and aquatic habitat. As road densities increase, they expose more surface materials to erosion, leading to sediment being carried into waterways. Also, because roads resist water infiltration, they create more surface water runoff, which can increase peak flows. Peak flow refers to the time when the most water flows through a stream, usually during heavy rain or snowmelt. It's a key concern because up to 80% of the year's water passes through during this period. Managing peak flow is critical to avoid issues like flooding, erosion, unstable stream channels, or dangerous debris flows, which can damage bridges, culverts, and downstream ecosystems.